Hi and welcome to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Yeah, there was no sound in the beginning of this game. I just wanted to show all of that stuff. Uh, I did play a little bit earlier just to check that every all the settings are and if I am going to enjoy this. No point in streaming something for two hours if I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm actually enjoying this. So I'm going to start a new game. So I can show you all of it. It's all good. Awesome. And I do want to thank the developers for sending me a free copy of this game to test it out. Press the button. I keep forgetting to, to look in the corner there, waiting it for stock to start by itself. <laughs> I'm not gonna skip it because uh, it's a pretty pretty cool story. It's very shiny. I suppose they used a lot of Brillo cream back then. 
Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. Let us see what the postman brought today. He seems to be a little bit of a brat, <laughs> really. <laughs> I like the decor in this room. Okay. Inspect three things. Okay, that's one. Tensions between England and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps during a recent visit to London by Swedish Princess Ildur. That's an Ildur name. Chief among the scandals was the embarrassment of the British diplomatic corps as a result of the unexplained disappearance of Princess Ildur's personal bodyguard, the longtime member of Inner Circle took the opportunity to explore London while off duty and never returned from his late night promenade. A spokesman for the police assures the advertiser that they are confident that the bodyguard will be located as he is a striking representative of the Scandinavian people. A man like that gets noticed, whether by his peers at the gentlemen's clubs or fair nightingales who comfort them. Okay, is that what they're called? Nightingales. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Okay. Ooh, okay, I can turn this around. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. That's good service. Should be grateful. Another letter eh? from Verna. I never reply, but they keep coming. That's rude. Very nice Grand. way to Where put it, it right. On me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Well, in all fairness, a nightingale is actually a nurse back then. So... Um, well, I suppose a nurse nurses... wounds, I suppose, whether it's... Uh, Emotional or physical, different kind of nurse. <laughs> cool, let's go. It's a rainy day, why not dress in something more appropriate? Okay. Guys, okay, so we'll see. Okay, that's the stuff I picked up. Ooh, we're gonna look into his brains. Lovely. Escape. Don't really care for the map though. But it's, it's a nice piece of artwork. Don't know if I'm crazy about it as a map though. Anyway, let's see. Clothes. Ooh, we can dress him. What is this? Sherlock's jacket. Sherlock's overcoat. Shivanka. 
like everything in Ukrainian, bold, durable, and unbeatable. It does look like a comfy shirt, must admit. Uh, a storm is coming. Become a bureaucrat, official casual. Travel broadens the mind, enlightens the wardrobe. <laughs> Your grandma was a nurse, she was called a nightingale. She was loose woman, so my dad says. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, well, a nurse is a nurse, I suppose. Whether they have got those really sexy nurse's outfit or just a normal one. Well, women in those days weren't very much respected, so it was difficult not to be loose. So you either went with it or you were brutalized, so anyone in need. That is an ugly beige suit. Wow. I guess this one is overcoat. Ooh, no hat. Bowler hat. And fez. Fezes are cool. I don't know if a fez is cool, but that's cool. Well, we are Sherlock Holmes. I mean, that's just classic Sherlock. No accessories. Square glasses, a square pair on your round holes. Oh wow, <laughs> lovely. Uh, Windsor glasses, being for the benefit of his eyesight. Okay, we'll put those on. Facial hairs, the first of many close shaves. That's funny. Face of a gentleman. That that doesn't look very Sherlocky. Long sideburns, facial hair for the too confident. Chin curtain beard. If I had another face. Do you think I'd wear this? <laughs> God, a goatee, the hairy mouth moat. <laughs> oh, pencil moustache. Looks like it might rub off. Shenandoah beard. Keep a chin away from prying eyes. I'm gonna go with no facial hairs, no makeup. Why did they make sure look so pretty? <laughs> Fake bruises. You should have seen the other guy. I can't even. Oh, you can turn him. Ah, there we go. You can turn him around. It's not even bruised, man. What are you talking about? Oh, you can dress Watson too. Just what the doctor ordered. Watson's waistcoat, time to get down to business. Watson's overcoat, go over and above. Watson's overcoat with a hat. That's what I'm talking about. Watson's Vyshev bunker, a traditional Ukrainian outfit. Stand tall, stand proud. I kind of like this shirt, I would wear that. Let's put him in an overcoat as well since we're going out. And we're dressed. Hey, Big Papa, how you doing? Fourth one. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, times were different back then. Hat. Yeah, definitely hat. Oh, I can't go up, back up. Oh, I can. Well, there's Watson. He's also dressed now. That's cool. Uh, oh, go outside. I do like the art. The camera is a bit wobbly. But I'll get used to it. Oh, so I can speak to the Watson? Is yours for the digging stones. Oh, that's what we're doing, right? Okay, let's go. Dig in the dustbin. What is this? Cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. That looks more like a freaking porcupine quill. Never mind a, a cactus spine. You're mistaken, Doctor Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. 
it's potting soil. See, Watson? Mm. The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Let's shift to run. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Glass. So why are you saying it? And why are you Damn still it? here? Boss <laughs> pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. Well, a businessman, isn't he? Uh, what were today's headlines? Any breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tribe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. Okay, what's well, so... all? You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm, like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. <laughs> cool, now I can take the day off. <laughs> yeah, what did he do to the paper? <laughs> nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise. And all I could see was him kneeling at your door. I do like the voices in this game. It's really good. Okay, so where was he headed? Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. <laughs> Hence the appeal of disguises. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears. If you have more shillings. Okay, so you've got a new question in your Get mind, Bellas. Get your copy of the strand Open the here. case book and navigate to the mind pits. Okay. Yes, this is the mine palace. Who ruined the strand? Okay. Oh. Oh. But then what goes here? Nobody's his testimony? Is that they did a thing. Okay, so Mr. Barnes is involved in the scheme. The newsboy said the suspicious man was carrying a stack of books and this morning Mr. Barnes, the local bookseller, delivered a novel for Dr. Watson. A cactus spine for assassination, a loud bang, a, vis a visit to Mr. Barnes is in order. Okay. Okay. I actually like that. That's very different. So I must pin this X. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Well, that's Japanese. Stainwick's Manor. Um, where? This is a barber shop. Gaslight. For those who'd like to gaslight, I suppose. Just kidding, I know they had gaslights. <laughs> oh, here it is. Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps. From Cordona. Oh, that's uh, Watson. Okay. <laughs> that's you. 
observe just observe him now let's stare at the guy that, that's not at all creepy space bags under the eyes effects of overwork okay uh, WASD to move newspaper ink of course oh wow really gonna take a look at him leans heavily on his right leg saw left leg okay wow can you imagine really looking at someone like this and i'm just observing you just hold still high heels wants to look taller okay is that what those are for oh done so i've got the ink the high heels saw leg mr barnes has developed a limb and has large bag under his eyes the results of long hours of intense work he is not very confident and tries to appear tall about wearing high heels it seems unlikely that such a person would be involved in a murder plot even if the ink on his hand suggests he is the one who soiled the newspaper nevertheless mr barnes could still be a pawn in a bigger plan without his knowledge uh, i don't know workaholic or blackmail victim it doesn't seem like a black because then he would i don't know maybe have i know it's kind of difficult one it does seem to be more of a workaholic but he is hiding something this guy was black veil black veil black male victim who knows could be wrong okay it's just all of that again mr barnes a word Uh, okay. Oh, he ran. Definitely hiding something. What the hell is he hiding? Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock really? Holmes. <laughs> now, will you please, Mr. Holmes? Golly, I did not see you coming. Wow. Would you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just tag you to pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is yeah, it? for sure. You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. Okay, so Briz said to highlight interactive areas in the environment. Okay. Ah, let's start here. The ladder is ah. broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Okay. I think there was nothing here. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. There's something here. Two things. There it is. Basics of crypto analysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay, why is it not letting me? There we go. Exotic plants catalog. A catalog. There, there. A catalog of exotic plants on the barns counter. The name of the catalog reads "Everlasting Plants for an Everlasting Love." Ew. Okay. Let's see. Where else? Oh, there's a little doggy. It flowers. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. Hmm. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. 
London has to offer. Okay. Uh, now what? There was something with the dog. So, Lance has a dog now. Who's a good boy? He's a good boy. He's cute. Lance has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. Oh, that's Watson. I keep talking to Watson. Okay, this guy had something, didn't he? Do you know anything about this? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Uh, okay. Well, fine then. Ah, flowers. Oh, there's a cactus. Well done. Ah. Flowers. Encouraging people to stop the smell of the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. Oh. Familiar spine. This is what I found in my dustbin. Yeah. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? Uh, observe. Okay. She's wearing makeup for beauty or concealment. Really? That's a uh, luxury fabric, unusual for work attire. Morning brooch, honoring a deceased husband. Okay. I didn't. I, I, I didn't know that was what that was for. It's interesting. Clean boots, changed boots upon arrival. Okay. What else? Ooh, face. Distant look avoids eye contact or distracted. Hmm. Mrs. Fleming wears a morning brooch in memory of a late husband. A dress is made from an expensive fabric that is not suitable for work. The shoes show no traces of mud. She must have changed them when she arrived. Her eyes constantly dart around the street, seemingly in search for something. Perhaps she is waiting for someone. Mrs. Fleming cherishes the memory of a departed husband. She's trying to move on as suggested by a makeup and nice outfit. Perhaps she's dressing to attract someone's attention or simply because she has learned to love herself again. Yeah, I won't say she's still grieving. It is. I'm actually enjoying this. I think she's ready to move on. I don't think she's still grieving. I mean, you're not going to put your pretty clothes on if you're still grieving. You'll, you'll wear black and... I love the hat. Yeah. Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Provide evidence? Do I have evidence? Um... I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Okay. That? One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Hmm, interesting. 
Roses for sale, maybe. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. Yeah. Dead flowers. What do you make of the flowers in barn shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh. I hope you're right. That would be really odd. Why would you do that? Exotic plants? I don't think that would be a good... Maybe these yellow ones? I don't know. Um, Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. But oh yeah, that would be awesome, actually. A That's look? a good idea, yes. Lewis. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, Ooh, I think she fancies him. While our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would etch such longing onto his face. Yeah, I definitely think she's uh he's a can I touch a Hello. doggy? What's your name? Lily. I'm uh, not very original. It's a cute name. Okay, now maybe speak to him. Uh -huh. uh, apologies, but I can't hear you. <laughs> Really? Oh, okay, now I need to do something else. It's not very clear what you're supposed to be doing. Why is it acting so strangely? Um... This one. Yeah. Okay, now a yellow one. Uh, dead flowers, maybe? Or was this Fleming? Let's see what the green one's got. Mrs. Fleming's. I think maybe this one is. And this one. No, okay, no, the blue one's wrong. This one? Yes! Mr. Barnes is in love. Oh, wow. Well, that, that was unexpected. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Barnes displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Mrs. Fleming. But why? Florist. He may hope she will come, oh my goodness, into his shop and give him watering advice. Or it could simply be a symbol of his desperation. I think it's more a symbol of his desperation. Barnes anonymously gifted her a cactus, which he ordered from a catalog on his, on his counter. A questionable choice for sure, but for Barnes a, simple, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalog presents these cacti as immortal. Plainly this is the same cactus he dropped on the strand outside 221B Park, Baker Street. Now to hear the full story, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so I need to open that. Hmm. I uh, think perhaps yeah. I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Mr. Barnes? 
I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. Make wedding scream now. I'll hear you very well from behind the door. <laughs> what happened the damn doors in? You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. Well, I think he just fell off his chair. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right, then. So, you know what happened, then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too, and when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. Uh, As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts, and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you, and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. Thank you. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. <laughs> I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh... Yes, yes, okay. Just give me the paper. Okay. Saltpeter explosion rocks ducks. Locals at the Port of London had a rude awakening last night. With loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship Moskva had docked at Pier N3 in the early evening en route to Europe when it was rocked by several concussive explosions. The port authority is yet to comment on the incident and it is unknown if the, any crew members were on board at the time. Eyewitnesses report seeing a saltpeter leaking into the river but with the area still off limits to the workers and the public it may be some time before we have a full account of what transpired. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Cool. Done. Okay, wait now. Okay, so I can unpin this. Uh... I can still speak to him. Let me know if there's any way I can make it up to you. Tell you what, tomorrow's edition of The Strand is on me. <laughs> cool. I'm sure Barnes has had enough of our meddling, Mr. Holmes. We best be off. I guess so. Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. 
And that perhaps, if ill applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is London. There will always be burglaries. It doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery, nor the story to launch my writing career. But it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. Awesome. Let's go. This way. Okay, so he's following me. Not much further now. Okay, well, it would have been best if you lead, you know. Must be in here, because this gate was not opened earlier. Oh, that's a pretty gate. The detail in this game is exquisite. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the Inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <coughs> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimi here, my missing servant. Kimi here. your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. It's my superiors Ruffles. who made this decision, sir. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Yes, you can. You don't have to answer. Jeez. Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find him here breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. You heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. Yeah, it's actually quite sad that they only recently um, prioritized missing people. Quite sad, actually. Okay, uh, where does he live? May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. Um. When did he vanish? When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have what escaped the night before yesterday. Uh, escaped. What a word for a... I take it this is the first time Kimmy here has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Did Kimahir make off with anything of value? Heavens no! I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person? No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. 
Wow. So he didn't really make any money because you kept it? Wow. Tell me about him here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen. And as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Tell me about him here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Uh, sorry. Biggest man you've ever seen. And as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Because I've asked all the questions. Did Kim Why is it make off with anything doing about that? Heavens no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. Um... It's not letting me go out of here. Oh dear. We are stuck in a loop. I mean, I can't even escape. Um. Tell me about him here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen. He doesn't speak a whit of English. Oh, no. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should no. think not. He had... Did Kimmy have still No. All right. Go ahead. Oh, there we go. That was really odd. I had to, like, smash space bar just to get out of that to loop. I have to fix that. My mom, will, my mom wants one of these in the garden at the front. Gazebo. It's a nice uh, garden, I guess. Uh, what happened here? Oh, what is that? A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Okay, but what is that? Chewing tobacco. You. Okay, I've done that. It's not letting me click on anything else. Okay. Maybe we're not ready to know what that is. Concentration helps you to pick up smaller details about the world. When you see a we are uh, rescue to observe the object more closely, don't forget to pin the relevant evidence. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Hey, Bergwacher. Thank you for the biddies. How are you doing? I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, let's uh, spin something. Clues in his garden, chewing tobacco. Okay, let's spin this one.
Okay, so we don't have enough evidence, I think. So we need two blue ones and a yellow one. And I don't think it has anything to do with the newspaper. So let's see. Okay, we've got this. A scrap of Hessian. Okay. Broken box. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. I'm good, thank you. I'm having a really good day. There was something here. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. Oh, I see the face. <laughs> That's funny. I said my nose is so blocked it's not even funny. Oh, Q. Can we Q anything here? Yeah, there needs to be something here. Don't see anything though. Okay, yeah, what else? Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Hmm. Someone hit their head here. Must be something in here. I can observe. I don't see anything else though. Can't go more than that. Maybe there's something here. Well, I heard something. see anything. that already. Oh, that's a beautiful. A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Nose flute? Ew, and you just picked it up. Clothes made of hessian. Is thing really so miserly? Yeah, it seems so. Made of can you imagine wearing Hessian clothing? My god, that would be so freaking itchy. There's a bone. Button chops. The remains of a meal. Ash? The ashes are long since cold. Oh, what is this? A 
heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, an narcotic. Mm. Okay. Okay, there's got to be something here that I am missing. Because... Well, there's definitely something here I'm missing, but it's not. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone. Yeah, we already it. know that. But I don't see anything yellow. It's not going yet. Oh, there we, there we go. What the hell? A small navy spyglass. Just a. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got more evidence. Okay, before we go out there, I want to go back to that other scene. Because now we have Q. like a knee print. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes. To read the ground like an open book. <laughs> cool. Okay. This lock is quite unusual. It appears it's a nice that lock. should be bent to the right. Yeah, so there are interesting clues in his garden. Huh. The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. Okay. Someone definitely knocked him out. Ooh, this is pretty. Little piece of home. Since he's Maori. Okay. Where next? Isn't there a key? I just saw a nice key here. There's a key. Ah, oh, there's a green thing now. Oh, well, I didn't see this before. get imprinted in that. Yeah, I don't see how his face was printed in there. Okay. Oh, so there's another one. No air coming through it. No air coming through it. Uh, no air coming through it. I know. So there's another one where... Huh. 
So let's pin this one and we can talk to this dude. to your garden has an interesting lock yes i have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion it makes them harder to pick kimmy here and i both had a set of keys i'll need to borrow them no you'll need to do what i tell you to do Examine oh my goodness jerk where earth are you going with this i thought you were meant to be intelligent Oh, wow. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. Okay. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but I found it distracting. Oh, wow, distracting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No, the man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimahir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. Yeah, definitely control. Do you Didn't happen give him to any. know Kimahir's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest, but I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. Okay. So that's all we can ask him. Um... Maybe now we can go back to the shack? So this couldn't have been Kimmy uh, over here. Because <laughs> he didn't wear shoes. stabbed. No. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got three, three uh, types of things that could have happened. I don't think anybody fell backwards, so... Yeah, this seems more likely. Also seems more likely. Ah, oh, 
Where's the keys? Unusual paint form. Yeah. Keep print missing. Watson, get the hell out of my face, man. Okay, so the key we're looking for is missing. What happens if I mess it up? I have no idea. I've never played this game. Uh, this is all new to me. <laughs> Why are you still here? Dude. He is so rude. idea what I'm doing I'm I'm just uh help me please sorry sir I can't help you and if you don't have the right evidence pinned uh nobody can help you okay why is this blocked off though I know we can do something with that. Let's pin that and see if anybody knows anything. Are you able to help me? I wish I could help, but I know nothing. She knows nothing. Are you able to help me? No, I don't know anything about that. What are you babbling on about, dude? Don't even speak to him. Can I ask you a question? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You can ask <laughs> someone else. Well. Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. And the horse just lays down. It's beautiful. Hmm. Is this familiar to you? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Hmm. What can I ask them about? Someone, maybe the chewing tobacco? Let's ask people about the chewing tobacco. May I ask you something? It's a shame, but I can't help you. <sighs> yeah. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Could you help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Yeah, one thing's for sure, this game is not easy. Could you help me? A lady doesn't know about such things. Okay. Emotional damage! Emotional damage. Now, this is, this is kind of tough. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Fleming, that's done. Bonds. Um, then we mansion. Maybe let's ask. The <laughs> let's ask them about. Do you know anything about this? A lady doesn't know about such things. Is this okay. a to you? I wish I could help, but I know nothing. Can't ask that guy inside of there. Help me, please. 
It's a shame, but I can't help you. Calamari, yummy. Oh, now I want calamari. I can only ask these three people something. May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Yeah, clearly. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Is this familiar to you? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Hmm. Maybe I can ask the horse. Okay, everything is blocked off. Let's ask this guy if he knows something. May oh. I ask you something? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Nope. Maybe ask Google. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have easier time. What are you doing with that are door? You able to help me? No, sir. I never heard of it. He's from Jamaica. Are you able to help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Okay. Can I ask you a question? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Okay, then maybe there's something I've, I'm missing in here. If you find my man, I have a marvelous whiskey with your name on it. Well, you better have a freaking marvelous something, because you're rude. Yeah, the green things keep coming. Don't quite know how to operate these things. It just says previous and next. It doesn't let me... Because this is definitely... That wasn't him because he doesn't wear shoes. So how do I... Okay, let's go here. Where does his trail lead? The spyglass, chewing... Okay, the chewing rem remnants is definitely... Um... Glass in the chimney... Or the lock with an unusual keyhole. Okay, and then another blue one chewing. Uh, no. Spyglass. No. Not even one of them was right. Those. Wow. Okay, so it does have something to do with the newspaper. Hmm. No, that's not right. Because it, it's definitely got something to do with a newspaper. I 
I did have something to do with... I don't see how it has something to do with them. So we don't we don't have another blue lead. Those ones are done. Can we unclick this? We can't unclick this. We've got new clothes. Ooh, now we've got uh, stuff and things. Why would you do that to a sleeve? It's so weird. Or donor suit. Hmm. Just see how to play. Press Q to activate the concentration. Inside the con concentration, small spheres will appear near important clues. New figures unlock while you progress through the investigation. Interact with the synapses to switch between several interpretations of the scene. Some figures or objects are anchored to help you. Standing close to an imagination, figure will reveal more details. The on-screen synapses chart will help you browse through alternatives for each scene. F appears when all the synapses are activated. Hold to check if your interpretation was correct. If you are wrong, any incorrect figures will be highlighted and you can try again. When imagination is finished, Sherlock will summarize what he has learned. Okay. Okay, so which one is highlighted then? Because I don't see an F. But where is the other one? Is one, two, and three? Where is number four then? Oh, we never unlocked this one. My goodness. Okay. I don't think that's what happened. Yeah, I think mysterious person unlocked it. Okay. Ooh. Now we've got new evidence over here. Wheel tracks. Could have left these tracks. They seem fresh. Yeah.
Come on, dear Watson. In a tool shed. You think you know someone? No, you never know someone. Is it possible to know someone? You know about them, but you do not know them. Okay, so after this. This lock is quite unusual. Oh, this is on Steam. Sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Elementary. <laughs> it is on Steam. Hmm. This is uh, captivating. If there's anything here, you're hiding something. This dreary rain is making a miserable day even worse. Thank you, Lewis. see any more evidence. This was definitely somebody else that was hiding here. Maybe waiting for him to go to sleep. Maybe this one is wrong though. I don't think this one is wrong. I don't know. Or maybe... I'm not sure. Maybe whatever that was that he was sniffing made him pass out. Then whoever was waiting for him to pass out grabbed the key and unlocked it. Oh, what is this? Okay, so that glue is just updated. Okay. Let's see if I can speak to this dude. Did I try the controller for this game? I have not, actually. I don't even know if it's... Stupid, con Mr. Holmes. Stop loitering. Oh. And go and do your job. That guy is so rude. I just want to punch him in the nuts.
I don't see anything outside. I don't even think it is. I don't think it is controller friendly. Then selected evidence on this. What we can do is ask people about this. So I'm sure they would love to gossip. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Well, I love that buggy. That's cute. Can I ask you something? Nope. Maybe she wants to gossip. Excuse me, just one question. I wish I could help you, but I don't know. Damn it. Help me, please. It's a shame, but I can't help you. Yeah, I did. Excuse me, just one question. It's a shame, but I can't help you. Hey, Damn it. There's a fresh pair. Okay, well, we need to f we need to pin this. Okay, let's pin this. May I ask for your assistance? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Okay, we need to Do you pin think that. Had an accomplice in his escape? We can't go in there some reason hmm. may I ask for your assistance sorry sir I can't help you is this familiar to you sorry sir I can't help you maybe I can ask him stop loitering my goodness go and do your job We're definitely looking for a fifth one. Fifth green one. Hey Orion, how are you doing? These people are rude, right? Okay, there's that one inside by the fire. Oh, wow. Right in front of my eyes. Ha! Dang goodness. Parallel track. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere yeah, in the garden. There. Okay. Yeah, that's that's more likely. Ah, oh, validate. If three of them are incorrect. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Okay, so this one is definitely that. 
So someone gave him that ball of opioids and made him pass out. Come dude, Watson, move your ass. I'm not being very helpful. Okay, let's try that. Uh, that one is right. That one is right. Okay, so this one isn't right. But it's that it wasn't him though. I don't think hello, that's right. Hello, hello. Oh, that's what I saw. Yeah, that must have been that's perfect. Welcome in, Orion. I am really good. Okay, let's validate that one. I think that's perfect. Surveilling from afar, yes. the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. <laughs> When Kimi here went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimi here inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimmy here had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. Yeah, if I do say so myself. It does make total sense. Okay. Now we can go talk to Mr. Rude over here. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. Uh, someone had eyes, yeah. I hear that someone may have spied upon Kimmy here. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? Oh, this guy, really? Um, yeah, he was drugged. I found a residue of narcotics in Kimmy here's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimmy here never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. Oh, my word. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimmy here was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimmy here's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimmy here, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, Incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another oh second goodness. wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am Clearly. only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. Can you give an option, kick him in the nuts, please? Truly, there is no better evidence of a man's nature than the way he treats those who help him. And you, sir, are a brute. The cruelty of your ignorance about the Maori people, your selfish attitude to a man's kidnapping. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, As please that. teach your companion the art damn of brevity. Sure. Yeah, my boot in your nuts, that's gonna be my brevity. Turd. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Any dead birds? Nope. Okay. Well, there's a boat here. And that would have been easy to boat him off somewhere. Okay, so this gate is locked. And I like that this game is not easy. You know, you really have to work for your evidence. Must be this way then. Oh, hold on a second. I see some tracks there. Okay, ah. that's those are tracks. That's for oh, there we go. Sturdy rope. Professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. Definitely need to Google what a bosun's chair is. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahia's cart, I gather. Okay. What else? Ooh, evidence. Ah. Roy Salisbury. Could that be the name of our man? That would be too easy. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Then we're mm. in the Saltpeter. Investigation scene complete. Okay, so we can put some evidence together and, uh, ooh, so, what are notable features of the abductor? Well, he's definitely got a spyglass, uh, maybe not, will it? Chewing tobacco. Mm. This one? Yeah, that one's the only one that's right. Oh hey, dear. Let's try this again. Glass. Mm, sailors not. Ta da! The doctor is a sailor. Particular knot, a spyglass, and the footprints of a working man's boots. They all add up to one conclusion. Kimia, Kimihia's doctor is a sailor. I like that name, Kimihia. It's beautiful. Okay, one down. Now just this one. Yeah, that is definitely not right. Maybe this this one. I feel like it's that one. 
Where does Kimi here's trail lead? Hmm. Perfect. All evidence points to the port of London. <laughs> we know now that Kimi here's kidnapper. Oh, and I got. Oh, that's somebody else playing games. <laughs> Thought I got an uh, achievement there for a second. <coughs> Sorry. We know now that Kimi here's kidnapper is most likely a sailor. That his wallet bears saltpeter residue and that there was a recent saltpeter accident in the saltpeter accident in the port of London. Everything suggests that to find Kimi here we must head to the port of London. There is no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the port of London immediately. Marvelous. The abductor is a sailor. Let's pin that. Yeah, let's pin that. <laughs> Strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident. Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab there. Yeah, so this this is open now. I believe this is a cab. I hope. Yeah, it is. Can you? Oh, you can't return. Yes. I think we're done here. The port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. Go. <laughs> ah, to, to hell in a handcart. Lovely achievement unlocked. No, I don't want to skip the Blood Red Night, Port of London. Press any button. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Uh, one kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. Oh not dear. Not the superstitious <laughs> type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer, placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me, to whom I'm grateful. But without their diligence, you would not be standing here, and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? Why indeed? The Cursed Mermaid. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press C to open the case book. Open the evidence with X and speak to someone. Try it now with the calling card. Hmm? Salisbury's been evidence. I only see a horse. Horse, do you know anything? What the hell are you doing, dude? Excuse me, just one question. I think I can help you. 
Men usually wanders close to the dockyard. Thank you very much. Very helpful of you indeed. <laughs> oh, hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Let's see how we can speak to her. There's two things to do. Oh, there's many things to do this side. Mermaid. Missing person's poster help. Gervish missing for a week. Please tell if you see him. Ask Dyer in Port Shantytown. Red rag over house entrance. Okay. Will destroy pests of any kind and complexity. Accepted. Payment cash only. What? Ask Gurbund. Oh, I like this pumpkin. Looks a bit gross. Tickets to Oatmont, Massachusetts are still available. Sharon will depart next Tuesday from Pier N2. Greetings, Miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. <laughs> well, apparently. Uh, let's up the server first. Jap lips and she's pale. Okay. Vomit stains, morning sickness. Okay. She didn't clean her clothes. Ew, belly a bit distended. Okay, she's not far along. Trousers are a little bit too tight, obviously. Uh, maybe she's just trying to hide it. I mean, she is a... I don't think she's married. Yeah. Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far so blunt. <laughs> I, I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. <laughs> I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Okay. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Uh, we want to show her the Are you calling card. With a Roy Salisbury. Roy Salisbury? Hmm. I know the name. Uh, he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Let's ask her about What do you that? know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Okay. Okay, there was something else on the side. Hey. Damn it. Let's go back in. Uh, okay, so it's just two doors. That way. Can we not go in there? Okay. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. Okay, but get the hell out of my way, dude. It's a large harbor. If I could knuckle his hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Excuse me, just one question. 
I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk about Sol Solsby. Uh, she should have been protection. <laughs> she should not have had any at all. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. I don't think anybody can satisfy your curiosity. <laughs> Missing person. <laughs> This is the red rag. Maybe this is the woman that's missing a Excuse me, person. Just one Not sorry, I know nothing. Okay. Just one question. Nope. Sorry, I know nothing. So if I put the other one, can you satisfy my curiosity? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know. Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, sorry, I know nothing. Apparently they know nothing. What are you doing? May I ask you something? Yes, she liar. Answer your question. Lawyer, lawyer, burn some fire. I can't tell you because I don't know. Well, clearly, stop being when you're talking to me, damn it. Just carry it on. Jeez. Okay, that's shanty town. But yeah, that is where I am going to leave it for today. I am really enjoying this. I'm definitely going to play some more of this tomorrow. Um, I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> yeah, he's pee. You can actually hear him pee. <laughs> Yeah, I will um, see you guys then tomorrow. So thank you very much for hanging out and uh, checking this game out with me. I will probably be posting this video on YouTube, but only tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out with me and have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.